Hey everybody, I got my Dual X5667 set up here with an X8 DTN Plus motherboard. Um, it's a really huge EE ATX slash SSI EEB Plus motherboard. Um, but anyway, I just got it set up in a test bench like setup, just a cardboard box with a big fan, um, two Arctic i11 heat sinks. Um, six one gig sticks of DDR3 ECC registered and a PS2 keyboard, just a mouse and my kilowatt here. So right now I'm running Windows 10 off of off of a 120 gig SSD and I'm running in balanced power mode under Windows. Um, so at idle right now, I'm taking 126 watts from the wall and that's on a non-modular non 80 plus rated PSU to 600 watt power supply so I think with uh, with a better power supply I could pr probably do a little bit better maybe 110 watts or maybe even down to like 105 watts at idle um, but I'm just gonna run Ida 64 under a full 100% synthetic load on both processors and we'll see what the uh, see what the power usage goes up to I'll give it a second to uh, to start here so I've been pretty impressed with these processors and especially with these heat sinks it's awesome being able to use uh, the i11 heatsinks on dual 1366. Um, I had Ida 64 running earlier for about an hour, and I think the highest temperature on any of the cores was 52, so it didn't get very high at all. Um, I, I know I'm running outside of a case, but it, it is kind of warm in this room, so um, yeah. So it looks like the uh, Benchmark's finally starting here, and I'll pull up uh, pull up core temp. I don't know if you can see that, but obviously the uh, the temperatures haven't leveled out yet. See mid forties, low fifties, and under one hundred percent load. And on the kilowatt, drawing 260, 265 about, which isn't terrible. And uh, keep in mind that's under 100% synthetic load. So that means that, I mean, you're really never gonna get under this load, especially with Plex or anything like that. Um, so hopefully I'll do, I'll be able to find a way to do some less synthetic benchmarks and and things like that and see what the kind of average power usage would be but I, I would imagine it's gonna be around 200 watts under just a normal load and so yeah I'll be doing some testing on uh, dual L 5640s and dual X 5670s as well when I get those in later this week um, so I'll, I'll do just a pretty similar video to this and uh, we'll see how it goes see you next time